So why did I pick Sweet Home Alabama? Everybody goes, ah, Sweet Home Alabama. Everybody knows how to play Sweet Home Alabama. Um, for my students, first and foremost, it's the first song I teach, as cliche and worn out as maybe it is. Um, if you can learn D, C, and G and play Sweet Home Alabama, you know there's just dozens of other songs you can play using those three chords. Sweet Home Alabama, as overplayed as it may be, has got an incredible amount of texture to it. Um, Leonard Skinner was not messing around when they added all the parts. There are parts in that song that I think people probably have no clue about. Very few people play it right. Very few people uh, get all the little intricacies. And, and I'll add more videos later on all the layers. There's layer after layer of great guitar voicing in that song. So. Um, I thought it would be interesting to start with a solo that I've heard almost nobody play right. Okay, so this is the first solo <clears throat> to Leonard Skinner's Sweet Home Alabama after the first chorus. Okay, I'm going to do this very quickly. First string, whole step bend on the 15th fret. And then back. So that's A and then G. sharp, that's the 14th fret, 2nd string 15th fret, 3rd string 14th fret, and if you notice this makes a shape of a D chord, which is the first chord in the song, and by the way, Sweet Home Alabama is not in the key of D, no matter what anybody tells you, it's in the key of G, and it moves backwards, 5-4-1, dominant, subdominant, tonic, 5-4-1, D, C, and G. So we're actually making the shape of a D chord here. Fourteen, fifteen, fourteen, fifteen. Play it two more times. Ba, 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 ba. That's the fifteenth fret, third string, fourteenth, second string, thirteenth. We'll go back into the major pentatonic mode. That's the third string, 15th, 14th, and 12th fret. That's the 14th fret, third string, 14th fret, fourth string, 12th fret, third string. So, so far we have. Bend. Whole step bend. A little bit of a harmonic, pinch harmonic there on the pick. Lots of sliding in Leonard Skinner. We're sliding from the 12th to the 14th on the 4th string. 3rd string, 12th. 14th. 12th. Bend. So far we have Now we go 4th string, 12th fret, 13th fret, 14th fret 3rd string, 12th fret 14th fret, 14th fret, 12th fret, 3rd string It's a half step bend. Third string, now the fourth string. Slide. Now we're 
on the fifth string 14th fret, half step bend. And that's the sixth string 15th fret. And now the 10th fret, and this is where there might be some controversy. I don't use a whammy bar on this. That's the 6th string 10th fret, and a whammy bar would be employed here where you drop a half step and back up again. I just go a half step and bend up. Okay, 100%.